second. Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for Wednesday of the 25th week in Ordinary Time. This past Sunday, the 19th, marked the year and a half mark of our preaching for A Word of Hope. I remember writing you a year ago and asking you if we should continue it, and we got such an overwhelming response, positive response, to keep it going. It's hard to believe we're already heading toward now our second full year of A Word of Hope, and we are very, very happy to continue it. I hate to sound like a broken record after a year and a half, but the theme today, again, is humility. I can't believe how often I am delivered with the message of humility in the scripture readings. This one comes from the Gospel of Luke, and it is very strong. It's beautiful. It's about Jesus giving them power and authority, his disciples, power and authority over demons, and sending them out to cure as many people as they could possibly cure and to proclaim the kingdom of God. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. But then right after he gives them all this power and all this authority, he then instructs them, take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. He empowers them, and then he makes them dependent on others for their sustenance and well-being. That's the message to you and me today. You and I are gifted. We are talented. We are empowered. You are such professionals in so many areas of your lives. The question is not, how do you do your humility when you don't know anything? The question is, how do you practice humility when you know a lot, when you're on top of your game, when you are at your best? It's exactly what Jesus told his disciples. Have this power and have this authority, but never forget how to depend upon one another and upon others. Use your power. Use your authority in humility. God bless you.